Okay, we'll start with problem number 15. Use the point-slope formula to write an equation of the line that passes through negative 4, 5 with a slope of 2. Now, I'm going to go through these fairly quickly. Um, we know we need to write the answer in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to put up here at the top, we need to go from y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 into y equals mx plus b. Okay. So we know we're going to start with our equation that is y minus something equals something times x minus. Okay. These are the three blanks we're going to fill in. Our point is our x1, y1, and our slope is 2. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And then we're just going to solve for y. So this really becomes y minus 5 equals 2 times x plus 4. When I distribute that gives me y minus 5 equals 2x plus 8. When I add 5 to both sides, that becomes y equals 2x plus 13. Okay. All right, we've got a point of 3, 0 and a slope of negative 1 fourth, so I know y minus something is equal something to x minus something. This is my x1, y1, and this is my m. So y minus 0 is equal to negative 1 fourth x minus 3. Well, of course, y minus 0 is just y. And if I distribute, that becomes negative 1 fourth x minus, or actually it's going to be plus because it's a negative times a negative. And of course, ne 1 fourth times 3 over 1 just becomes 3 over 4. And I'm done. Okay, so we've got an x1 of negative 1, a y1 of 3, and a slope of negative 6. Sorry about the line through this. So y minus something equals something times x minus. So y1 is 3, m is negative 6, and x1 is negative 1. So that becomes y minus 3 equals negative 6 times x subtracting a negative is the same as adding. I distribute and I get y minus 3 is equal to negative 6x minus 6. Add 3 to both sides and I get that y is equal to negative 6x minus 3. Okay, um, all right, we're going to start with y minus something equals something times x minus. We know our x1 is 2, our y1 is 3, and our slope is 0. So y minus 3 is equal to 0 times x minus 2. So that gives us y minus 3 is equal to 0. So when I add 3 to both sides, that gives me y is equal to 3. Now once again, that makes sense. A slope of 0 means it's a horizontal line, which is y equals a number. Okay, now 
use the point slope formula to write an equation of the line that passes through two points and write it in slope intercept form. Okay, that means we're going to have to take the two points and we're going to have to find the slope. And remember, our slope is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Then we'll use one of the points and the slope and convert that. So in this situation, our slope is going to be our y2 is negative 1, y1 is 3, over x2 minus x1, which gives us negative 4 over negative 1, which is just 4. So from here, I'm going to use y minus something equals something times x minus something. We found the slope is 4. And I'll use this point because there's no negatives. So y minus 3 and x minus 3. Now I just convert that. So this gives me y minus 3, which is the same thing as solving for y. 4x minus 12. Add 3 to both sides, and I get y equals 4x minus 9. Okie dokie. Line passes through 1, 3, and negative 3, 3. And write the answer in slope-intercept form. So my slope is going, we'll call this x1, y1, x2, y2. 3 minus 3 divided by negative 3 minus 1, which is 0 over negative 4, which is 0. So again, I'm going to use this point and this slope. Put it into my formula. So y minus 3 is equal to 0 times x minus 1. So that gives me y minus 3 is equal to 0, and y is 3. Now again, that makes sense, and if you ever get, and it doesn't make sense to you, again, just plot the points real quickly. This is the point 1, 3, and this is the point negative 3, 3. And that gives us a horizontal line of the equation y equals 3. Okay, same thing. x1, y1, x2, y2. So my slope is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 which gives me negative 3 over negative 2, which is just 3 halves. And again, I'll pick this point just because they're positive, but you will get the same thing. I know my y1 is 4, my slope is 3 halves, and my x1 is 1. Okie doke. So this gives me y minus 4 equals 3 halves x minus 3 halves. So I'm going to add 4 to both sides. So that may take me a little work. I'm going to have to take negative 3 halves plus 4 over 1. Now to add these together, I have to get a common denominator, which of course is 2. So I'm going to have to multiply this by 2 over 2. So this gives me y is equal to 3 halves x minus 3 halves 
plus 8 halves which becomes y equals 3 halves x plus 5 halves. Okay. And lastly, I'm going to have to write it down here. I ran out of room. Okay, so this is my x1, y1, x2, y2. So my slope is going to be y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 which is 2 over negative 1, which is negative 2. And I'll use this one. So I have y minus something equals something times x minus. My y1 is 0. My x1 is 4. My slope is negative 2. So I'll distribute. y minus 0 is just y equals negative 2x plus 8. I'm sorry, I hesitated there for a second. I forgot how to multiply negative 2 times negative 4. Okay, let's see. All right, the equation of the line, oh, now we're into parallel and perpendicular. So parallel lines, they have the same slope. Perpendicular, The slopes are opposite reciprocals. Okay, so we want the equation line through negative 1, negative 2 that is parallel to the line defined by 3y plus x equals 2. Okay, so I need to find the slope of this line. So I'm going to put this in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to do that by subtracting x from both sides. That gives me 3y equals negative x plus 2. Divide everything by 3. And I get y equals negative 1 third x plus 2 thirds. Okay. Since it is parallel, the slope is going to be the same which is going to be negative one-third, and this will be my x1, y1. Now, it doesn't say what form of the equation, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do it starting out since I have a slope and a point, in sl point slope, and then I'll go on and convert it to slope-intercept. Okay, so I start out with y minus something equals something times x minus something. Okay, so my x1 is negative 1, my y1 is negative 2, and my slope is negative 1 third. So my first step in this, I've got y plus 2 is equal to negative 1 third times x plus 1. So when I distribute, that gives me y plus 2 is equal to negative 1 third x minus 1 third. And now I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. But I'm going to have to kind of do that out on the side. If I have negative 1 third minus 2 over 1, I'm going to have to get a common denominator, which is 3, so I'll multiply by 3 over 3. 
So this becomes y is equal to negative one-third x minus one-third minus six-thirds. which becomes y equals negative one-third x minus seven-thirds. You just add the numerators when the denominators are the same. Okay. All right, and I'm going to put this up here. It equals three. Okay, so the same now perpendicular means it's going to, I'm going to have to find the slope of this line and then find its opposite reciprocal. So again, I'm going to start by putting this into slope-intercept form. So I will add 2x to both sides, and that gives me 5y is equal to 2x plus 3. Divide everything by 5, and I get y equals 2 fifths x plus three-fifths. So the perpendicular, I'm going to have to take the slope. It's positive, so it becomes negative. Two-fifths becomes five-halves. And then I have a point. Okay, so I have y minus something equals something times x minus something. My slope is negative 5 halves, my x1 is 5, my y1 is 0. So anything minus 0 is 0, so, or is itself. So I'm going to distribute here. This is negative 5 halves x. Negative times a negative is going to be a positive. But once again, let's see, negative 5 halves times negative 5 over 1 multiplying the numeral the numerators that gives me 25 over 2 okay so I'm going to have to do parallel but I need the slope of this line so that means I'm going to solve for y so I'm going to add 5x to both sides and I get 2y is equal to 5x plus 2. Divide everything by 2. And I get y is equal to 5 halves x plus 1. Since it's parallel, my slope is going to be the same, which is 5 halves. So I'll use this point and this slope. So I start out with y minus something equals something times x minus something. Remembering that formula is going to be key. Um, my x1 is 0, my y1 is negative 5, and my slope is 5 halves. So this becomes y plus 5 is equal to just 5 halves x, because multiplying by 0 is 0. So now I'll subtract 5 from both sides, and I get y is equal to 5 halves x minus 5. Now you may have noticed at the very beginning that this is a y-intercept. So if I have a slope and a y-intercept, I should be able to go directly to here. Okay, give an equation of the line that passes through negative 8, 3, and is perpendicular to this line. So if I have y minus 2x is equal to 7, and I want to find the slope, I have y add 2x to both sides, is equal to 2x plus 7. Since it's perpendicular, this is 2 over 1. It's positive, so it becomes negative, and 1 over 2. 
opposite reciprocal. Okay, y minus something equals something times x minus something. My x1 is negative 8, my y1 is 3, and my slope is negative 1 half. So this is y minus 3 equals negative 1 half times x plus 8. y minus 3 is negative 1 half x, and negative 1 half of 8 is negative 4. Add 3 to both sides, and I get y equals negative 1 half x minus 1. Okay, time for a new video.